like five main emotional words in Shakespeare. Oh, alas, alack, woe, maybe ah. ah. Think about them as if they are the springboards, the rocket boosters, the trampoline bounce that can take you to an unplanned place if you let it. Alas and alack and woe. And these words are for expressions of um, grief, of pity, disappointment, of concern, of regret. They're perhaps trickier for us to get them into our mouths and, and make them sound like they, we mean them because they're not words that we tend to use every day. Our, so um, woe is probably the most common, um, that you're the most familiar with. You might know the phrase, woe is me. So I suppose, alas, has the sound of something being pretty emotionally bad, but not, not, not as bad as woe. But as a lack is somewhere in between alas, which, which sounds bad, but, but has a lightness to it because of the S, and woe, woe, which is, woe, pretty bad. Maybe a lack is alas plus. With alas, you've got that S, which make, gives it a lighter quality, but the finality of the K of a lack they say that the emotions are carried by the vowel sounds and the meanings carried by the consonants. So taking a word like alack, really using the vowels, sharpening the meaning by using that K. Alack the day. And then the word starts to properly live. Oh and ah. Oh. oh, oh mm. Those noises are what Shakespeare's writing when he writes the letter O or the letter O-H or uh, the letter A-H. I think O is the most important word in Shakespeare because it has so much possibility. It offers us infinite choice of how to make those sounds live. It gives most ownership. It's a placeholder. It's an invitation from Shakespeare to fill that black circle with that white space with the emotion that's relevant to the situation. It starts with the breath. Best to stand up, put your whole self in the best possible place you can to prepare to put emotion into word. And free your diaphragm. It's good to be outside, oxygenate the blood, maybe have a little stretch. Emotion needs motion. E emotion is energy plus motion. Prepare the body and the mind and the heart and the soul. Prepare the instrument that you're going to play. Use your breath to pour the emotion into that white space bounded by that black line. Oh, 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 what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Oh, for a muse of fire. Oh, oh, all you host of heaven. Oh, for a muse of fire. Oh, at this too, too solid flesh. Oh, 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 what a rogue and peasant slave am I.